Hello, my name is Nikola Todorovsky. I am an undergraduate student at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering in Skopje, Macedonia. I am going to present you one part of my graduation project. I have built an experimental setup which contains system for transportation of products with a conveyor belt, a programmable logic control controller PLC, two diffuse photoelectric sensors and an image sensor digital camera. The setup is able to recognize and select products which are moving on the conveyor belt depending on the size of the product and of its quality. We are checking two products with two different sizes and one product is considered to be a quality product if there is a presence of a label on it. The image sensor Cognex Checker 3G7 which is used in the setup has the possibility of setting up to 8 different jobs saved on 8 different memory locations on the checker which means it can check up to 8 different products. Every memory location is associated with a binary code and for setting the active job on our checker we need to send it specific binary code of the memory location where our desired job has been saved. The binary code is being sent to our image sensor by using its uh, four input pins. After the activation of the desired job, the camera is uh, checking the presence of product in its field uh, of view. The presence of the products is checked by checking the upper right corner of our product products, which is same for every product that we are checking. When the checker determines a product in its field of view, then it checks the presence of the label on the products. The presence of the label is checked by comparing the actual and a good product, which is done by checking the brightness of the location where we expect to have a label. If there is presence of a label, the brightness of the two products will be coincident and the checker will give us positive answer. And if there is no label, we will get a negative answer. The answer from the checker is being sent to the PLC controller through its two output pins. And here is the logic of the system showed on an electric schema. The four checkers inputs are connected with the first four outputs of the PLC and the two checkers outputs are connected with the PLC's inputs I0 and I2. The lower photoelectric sensor is connected to PLC's input I7, the upper to input I5 and the output O4 of the PLC is connected with the motor relay. When the signal of the upper photoelectric sensor is 0 and the signal of the lower sensor is 1, it means that we have to inspect a product with small size. The job for inspecting small parts is saved uh, on the memory location 3, so for its activation we need to send the binary code 110 to the checker. The PLC sets the O0 and O1 to 1 and O2 to 0 and sends small impulse to the in output O3. This operation activates the job in memory allocation 3 and the checker is waiting for small parts to inspect. When the small part will come in the checker's field of view, it will send signal 1 to PLC's input I0 and if there is presence of label, it will send signal 1 to input I2. This means that the product is good and the process should go further. If the checker doesn't see the presence of the label sticker on the inspected product, it will send signal 0 to the input I2. This means that the product is not good and we need to stop the process. The stopping of the process is being made by uh, resetting the output O4 and the motor relay will turn off. After a sh short time, the PLC will send again signal 1 to the motor relay and the process will start again. The same happens if we inspect big parts, but instead of activating the job in memory location 3, the PLC should activate the job in memory location 1 by sending the binary code 100 to the checker. Thank you very much for watching this video.